Hello my beautiful drone flying friends. So today we're going to talk about the best drones for fishing. So drones have become popular for fishing because they allow you to cast out over waves um, from sort of like shore fishing on a beach. It can be really difficult to get your bait out far enough to catch the big fish. Now, uh, the thing is, is that when I think about drone fishing, I, I think about like catching the fish with the drone and then like pulling it back. That is not the case. What you do is you attach some bait to your um, to your drone and you attach the line to the bait and then you go out and you drop the bait and then the drone returns and the bait is left and then you fish as normal. So really, drone fishing is all about casting and about getting your bait in the right areas and I, there's some awesome footage out there especially Australian I think it's eye fish um, there's some awesome footage of them catching massive tuna um, by yeah just dropping it out looking down with the camera looking for a big ball of uh, bait fish and then dropping it right where the tuna are attacking so there's no reason why it can't work for you so in this article um, we're going to go over the five options that I think you should consider if you're looking for for a drone for um, fishing. Now the thing is, this video is based on an article on droneflyingpro.com, so go check that out. I'll put the link in the description, but if you type in droneflyingpro.com, go to my website and in the search bar, just type in best drone for fishing. You'll end up at the article if you don't wanna click the link. Um, and so yeah, let's get on with it. This is the first drone I recommend. So the first drone that I recommend is the Gannet Pro. So the Gannet Pro has 2.5 kilograms payload, which is massive. Um, and it just looks like a really awesome drone. Um, the one thing it doesn't have is a camera. So if you're looking to go out and look down, um, you have to pay more. I believe there's like a camera option, um, but the base model doesn't come with a camera. So uh, yeah, you have to go out there. You have to kind of like just fly to where you think the fish are and drop the payload um, but with 2.5 kilograms that's a massive fish if you're uh, dropping that much bait so uh, yeah it's really good it lands uh, you know it can sort of land on the water fully waterproof all the drones in the li this list are fully waterproof so uh, it looks to be like a really awesome uh, drone and I think it's the one I would buy if uh, I really wanted to get into drone fishing uh, it is sort of specifically made for fishing. It looks cool, it looks super stable. It's relatively inexpensive compared to others on this list. Um, and the, I think I would pay for the upgrade for the camera because yeah, being able to look for uh, balls of bait fish, I think is really cool. So the Gannet Pro, put that on your list. The second drone is the Swell Pro fishing drone. So the Swell Pro is um, an awesome drone. You've probably seen it. It's uh, really kind of a easy to identify drone because it's bright orange. Um, the, this, is, this is the thing that is, I think is really cool about this drone is that you can actually land on the water and you can get underwater footage all in one flight. So you can fly out, it's got a camera, you can look for your, your bait uh, balls, so you can drop your bait in the middle, um, and then you can land on the water and look to see what's going on. I think that's pretty incredible. There's no other drone on the market, as far as I'm aware of, that can do that, that can land and actually get underwater footage. So uh, it seems like a winner for me if that is something that you want. And also the fact that you want to land on, you can land on the water, means that, you know, it's you, you will trust it because if you crash into the water, well, it, it can be there, that's perfect. So yeah, I think in terms of having some, uh, some confidence in the drone, this would be an awesome one. Uh, it doesn't require any smartphone either. So it's got a dedicated remote. You don't need a smartphone. So, you know, when you're out over water or over sands, you probably don't want to take your smartphone. You know, you've got to be super careful with all these electronics. So the fact that it's got a rugged controller that doesn't require a smartphone is awesome. Um, and the only downside that I could see about this drone was that it had a slightly lower flight time than some of the other drones on the list. But uh, overall, I think it's a fantastic thing and a fantastic fishing drone that you should consider. Okay, so the third one that I think you should look at is the Poseidon fishing drone. Now the Poseidon fishing drone, it looks a little bit kind of um, 
gross, bit bulky, but it's a fishing drone, right? It doesn't have a camera as far as I can tell. Um, and the great things about this, these drones is if you are a power user of this drone, it has got anti-corrosion um, kind of components. You know, salt water and the ocean is one of the easiest way to corrode things. So the fact that it's got anti-corrosion um, treatment is fantastic. So if you're gonna be taking this out every weekend, I think that is a really awesome feature. Um, and also it's got ABS plastic for any impact resistance. So I think this manufacturer is looking at drones um, that will be used by the, the, you know, the serious fishermen. They have made it rugged, they have made it user friendly, and it means that, uh, yeah, you can chuck it in the back with your other tackle and it will be fine. So yeah, the Poseidon fishing drone, um, go check it out. Go check out all of the information. I've got so much more on the article on droneflyingpro.com. I'll put the link in the descriptions, but there's so much more information. Um, and yeah, go check it out. There's a side-by-side -side comparison as well. Another drone that I think you should consider is the Shark Tan Fishing Drone. So the Shark Tan Fishing Drone is out of South Africa. And if I know anything about fishing, the South Africans are serious about their ocean fishing. And so uh, this range of drones comes in three series based on the number of drops that it can make. The awesome thing about these drones are that they can do five to 15 bait drops. Now, I don't know about you, but that's pretty cool. So you could actually go out, you could kind of like scatter an area with some bait and then drop your actual bait. Um, I think that's really cool. And yeah, you know, they've got um, three series, so M two M series and an E series, and it's dependent on the size of the uh, bait that you wanna drop, the strength of the line that you wanna drag, um, and also, yeah, the number of drops. So it's a fantastic series, uh, multiple drops. It doesn't seem to have a camera as far as I can tell. So if you're looking for, you know, for uh, a drone that will look for bait fish, um, it can't do that at the moment, but um, it looks super sturdy. They land it in water, they take off again. So Shark Town Fishing Drone, I think is another one that you should have add to your list if you're looking for a drone for fishing. It's super rugged, uh, it looks easy to use, and uh, yeah, fantastic uh, quality manufacturing. Okay, and the fifth drone that I think you should consider is your current drone. Now, if you already have a drone, you can actually use a bait dropper or a release mechanism. They make them for pretty much any DJI drone other than about you know, the Mini. The Mini probably can't carry too much and it's not strong enough to get anywhere, but anywhere from the Mavic Air up, they have got a bait release system. Now, I think that's really cool. Um, I don't know how I feel about sending out my camera drone over the ocean. I've done it a few times to take images of dolphins and cliffs and I felt comfortable, but you know, it was just all on its own. Whereas this drone, I'm not sure how I'd feel if it had extra weight carrying a line. You know, it's not really meant for it. I would feel much more confident if I had a more powerful DJI drone like the um, Pro or the Phantom um, and they do make bait release systems for those drones too. So uh, yeah, the, the higher end, the more powerful DJI drones I think are perfect. And the good thing is, is you have to buy a drone release mechanism that's specific to your model because they make them, um, you have to make sure that it doesn't interfere with the props, with the arms, doesn't add too much weight to the drone and also that the drone is capable to carry that weight. So go check out my article because I've got a list of how much each of the popular DJI drones can carry and it's anywhere from, let me just check, so it's anywhere from the DJI Mavic Mini can carry about 181 grams based on a YouTube experiment that was done. And it goes all the way up to the Phantom 4 that can carry 1.1 kilograms. Uh, the uh, Freefly Systems, the Alta, which isn't a DJI drone, can carry 12 kilograms. So yeah, you know, I think um, give it a go. Like. Also, you don't need to buy, this is an awesome thing, you don't need to buy a dedicated release mechanism. Some people have put a hook and the hook goes like this and when you fly out, you can see that the line would get caught in the hook and then to release it, they just reverse and the bait drops off the hook, boonk, off the thumb bit here. 
Um, and so yeah, you know, once again, a little bit dodgy, but it works for some people and you don't need to spend a fortune, which is what I love about it. There we are. Those are your five options that I think are the best at the moment. If you're new to this channel and that video was helpful, please remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification. That means a lot to me. I'm going to share everything I've learned about drones, flying drones, photography, and go check out droneflyingpro.com because I have got a ton of information on there and I think it's a great resource for drone enthusiasts. All right then, I'm going to see you in the next video. Happy drone flying and I'll see you soon.